Welcome to Great Loop Lifestyle. This is the Door County, Wisconsin edition, and I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. After waiting for a good weather window over in Charlevoix for several days, we were able to cross Lake Michigan and arrive in Sturgeon Bay, where we would once again be weathered in for a few days. So Sturgeon Bay was kind of our jumping off point, but we did explore the rest of Door County or, or more of Door County by car. So Sturgeon Bay is the biggest town in Door County. And we stayed at Center Point Marina, lovely marina, uh, pool, you know, all the amenities, really nice restrooms, really nice washer and dryer. But it is the closest marina to some of the things there are to explore in Sturgeon Bay. Third Avenue is kind of the hub of activity on this side of the water in Sturgeon Bay. So there are lots of shops and restaurants all along Third Avenue and in the immediate area. This is also where the farmer's market was on Saturday morning, and this was Labor Day weekend, so the farmer's market, I am told, was very much expanded that day, but it was enormous. Definitely the biggest farmer's market we've come across so far on the Great Loop, and the fruits and vegetables were gorgeous, lots of crafts vendors as well. In addition, on 3rd Avenue, we did visit some restaurants. Since we did a lot of exploring outside Sturgeon Bay, we didn't get a chance to eat at too many right here in Sturgeon Bay, but we really loved um, Dal Santo. It is an Italian restaurant, came highly recommended by a Door County Harbor host who stopped by to visit us, and the food did not disappoint. We actually overheard a local who was chatting with the waitress and said that this was the best food in Door County. So definitely check it out. We also stopped at Morning Glory for breakfast, and it was a great breakfast stop. There was a little bit of a wait. Um, but really good pancakes, so another place to check out, and that's also one of the closest things to Center Point Marina. Graham Park is on this side of the water, just right along the waterfront. There are some really neat kind of permanent games there for people to experience. There are some ping pong tables, there are some cornhole boards, and there is also um, some tables with chess or checker boards on there. But one of the attractions here is all along this waterfront, there is free transient dockage. No power, no water, nothing, no amenities at all, but you can tie up there for free as a transient. It's also worth walking across either of the two bridges and stopping at the Maritime Museum, which you'll find right on the other side. On this side, the hub is really uh, Madison Avenue, and that's where you will find several different shops, a few restaurants. The only place we had the opportunity to eat on this side was um, Kitty O'Reilly's Irish Pub. They have a huge outdoor patio. Food here is really good, and Kitty's came highly recommended from a lot of loopers who were at the marinas on this side of the water. From there, we traveled by car to check out other parts of Door County. So heading up the um, lakeside of the peninsula, you can visit Cave Point County Park. And Cave Point County Park has a trail that leads over to an adjacent state park. So you can do a lot of hiking and walking in this area, but the highlight of Cave Point is really along the lake where the waves crash up against the rock and have carved out some caves there. So that was kind of a neat thing to see. If you're in that area and looking for something to eat, we stopped at the Island Fever Rum Bar and Grill. They had a mix of American and Mexican food and tons of a full menu of cocktails, so um, a lot that they actually have on tap, so you can even do flights of cocktails there. Moving on to the bay side of the peninsula, again, this was Labor Day weekend, so everything we visited was pretty busy, but we worked our way up the peninsula, starting from Egg Harbor. This is one of the smaller towns, but there was a lot happening in town. There was some live music here near this gazebo and a few restaurants there, as well as several shops. And they have a beautiful park at Egg Harbor that you can see here, right adjacent to the marina. There were some neat sculpture that uh, were moving with the wind, so it was an enjoyable visit. Moving northward, we visited Fish Creek. This was very busy. Um, Fish Creek had a lot of fun sh shops. And if you're going to attend a fish boil, which is kind of a uh, Door County tradition, there are several restaurants in Fish Creek that offer a fish boil. And a fish boil, basically they take uh, local uh, fresh fish, potatoes, some seasoning, boil it all in a kettle, kettle, and then once it's about ready, they put some kerosene on the fire and it causes a flame up and a boil over. So that is kind of the thing that you want to see on the fish boil. 
from Fish Creek, we went through Peninsula State Park and a couple of things to see in the park. One is uh, this beautiful lighthouse. There were lots of children playing. Um, an anchor from an old shipwreck is there as well. And then we moved on to Eagle Tower, which is a 60 foot tall tower there. You can walk directly up the steps to the platform and experience this beautiful view. Um, if you're not up for the steps, there is kind of a sloping ramp that will take you up there as well, either up or down. So we enjoyed stopping there and seeing the view from higher up. And then our final stop for the day was Sister Bay. Sister Bay is one of the busiest places we visited, which uh, we, was described to us as kind of the party town of Door County. There was a marina festival going on. Again, it's Labor Day weekend, so everything is, is super busy. But lots of shops, tons of restaurants in Sister Bay. And one of the most famous is Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant because they have these grass roofs and there are live goats that maintain that grass up there. So that was one thing I was really eager to see was the goats. We had been told to arrive for breakfast. Um, didn't make it that far up the peninsula for breakfast. We were there late afternoon and you can see the goats were not super active. Um, I assure you this is a live goat even though you don't really see him moving. Uh, the the gate and the ramp that they take the goats up and down from the roof is right where these two goats are sitting. And I think it was probably about time for them to come down and they probably knew that. So they were just kind of hanging there right by the gate, but it was still a really neat thing to see. Try to get there uh, for what I understand in the morning is when the goats are most active. So that is just a really brief snapshot of Door County, Wisconsin, very rural area. In between these coastal towns is farmland, so it's a beautiful drive just kind of exploring and um, much more to see in Door County than we've described here, but that's all we had time to visit. So I hope you enjoyed this little snapshot. We'll be back soon. Our next Great Loop Lifestyle will be from Milwaukee. Thanks for watching.